Shreveport police say an elderly woman was carjacked at gunpoint last night. It happened on Lakeland Street near Juella Avenue just after midnight. The woman stopped her vehicle to check the door when a man walked up and ordered her out of the car at gunpoint. The victim was not hurt. There have been no arrests yet. This morning, police are still looking for the person involved in a stabbing that left another in the hospital with life threatening injuries. Almost two dozen Shreveport police officers were at the Jolie Apartments on Quail Creek Road Saturday afternoon looking for a stabbing suspect. Police say they got the call at 245, but they are not giving out a suspect description at this time. If you know anything about this stabbing, you're asked to call Shreveport Police. Take a look at this video. Workers in Michigan are busy packaging the COVID-19 vaccine. The first trucks carrying a COVID-19 vaccine for widespread use in the United States have already rolled out from the manufacturing plant. The shipments this morning will set in motion the biggest vaccination effort in American history. The rate of increases in coronavirus cases is staggering. To put it in perspective, John Hopkins University says it took 268 days to reach the first 8 million cases and just, 40, 40, just 57 days to reach the second 8 million. For the CDC's vaccine advisors to give a vaccine the thumbs up feels like a light at the end of the tunnel. Brett Conaway has more. Tomorrow, we will have extensive coverage on the COVID-19 vaccine arriving in the Arklatex, and we'll have reports from both Oshner LSU and willis Knighton on the first doses of the vaccine. Check in with us on air and on our KSLA News 12 app for all of our coverage this Monday. We want to hear from you when it comes to the COVID-19 vaccine. Are you willing to take it? So far, nearly 40% say yes, while more than 60% voted no. There's still time for you to vote. Head over to KSLA.com, scroll down to the middle of the home page, and let us know if you plan to take the vaccine. D.C. police stayed busy Saturday night after mostly peaceful pro-Trump rallies throughout the day. Saturday turned into civil unrest by nightfall. At least 23 arrests were made. Kevin Lewis reports. LSU fans waking up still on a high this morning after a stunning victory in the swamp Saturday. Coach O and the boys defeating the Florida Gators 37 to 34 against all odds. The Tigers pulled off the win with only 54 of their scholarships scholarship players making the trip. We'll have more sports tonight on KSLA News 12. And when we come back, we'll be taking an even closer look at the rain falling right now, but more to come on the way. We're just weeks away from Christmas and doctors are suggesting you cancel your Christmas vacation. Ahead, we'll tell you why you need to change your plans. And you're taking a live look at I-20 at Lakeshore. No traffic issues to report this morning. Our annual Coats for Kids drive is underway and you can help keep our Arklatex kids warm this winter by dropping off any new or gently used coats at any ports dryer cleaners. You can also drop them off at Ashley Ridge Optical. You have until the end of the year to donate. The U.S. Postal Service and several retailers urge you to place your orders soon if you want your gifts to arrive in time for the holidays. The Postal Service is flush with packages and short on employees available to process them due to the pandemic. Ground orders should be placed by Tuesday if you're sending Christmas gifts with UPS, FedEx or USPS. Retailers like JCPenney's, Lowe's, Kohl's and Bath and Body Bath and Body Works also say you should shop soon to avoid expedited shipping fees. Christmas is just two weeks away and health leaders across the nation are urging people not to travel because of the coronavirus this year. But knowing that many people are going to ignore those warnings, Selena Govera reports. Both health professionals said if you get a test, it's better to get the PCR test, which is a nose swab that goes to a lab and comes back because that's the gold standard for testing. The rapid antigen tests have a much higher likely likelihood of coming back as a false negative for people who don't show COVID symptoms. Full Court Press with Gre Greta Van Susteren airs later today on KSLA. Here's Greta with a sneak peek of today's show. You can watch that full interview tonight right after KSLA News 12 at 10. Holiday decorations are popping up across the country this holiday season. 
One nativity, nativity scene is capturing eyes and giving them, to some, giving them something to talk about. We'll look at dazzling displays when we come back. And you're taking a live look at I-20 at Greenwood. Traffic is flowing pretty smoothly right now. The Hubble Space Telescope turned 30 years old this year, and to celebrate, NASA is releasing 30 never-before-seen images of the wonders of space. They show galaxies, star clusters, and nebulae, all of which are visible from a home telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope has been capturing images like these since it was launched into space in April of 1990. Passengers on board a plane at a Las Vegas area, area airport got quite the surprise when they looked outside. This video shows a man climbing on the wing of a plane as it was about to take off on Saturday. The spokesperson for the airport says he hopped a fence. Police and airport officials took the man to a medical facility. As for the plane, it went back to the gate for a full inspection. It's the holiday season and nativ nativity scenes are popping up across the country, but one nativity scene outside a Methodist church is sparking up a conversation. Kat Candace Crone has the story. Church leaders say they hope the display doesn't anger people, but prompts them to have heartfelt discussions about how to move towards positive change in our society. Thanks for watching KSLA News 12 this morning, and don't forget to stay aware and stay alert on our KSLA News 12's apps. I'm Destiny Patterson.